Hi guys, we are doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be setting up my Notion for the first time. Notion is a productivity tool where you can take notes, manage tasks, set goals, and so much more. But for me, it feels like my own personal website where I can customize my content, dashboard, and pages. To learn more about Notion, you can sign up with my link listed down below. Let's get started. There are lots of templates to choose from, from Notion and inspirations from Pinterest. Today, I'll be using templates that's made by creatives such as Michelle and Anna, which I'll be linking down below. My Notion is divided into three categories, task I do daily, overall life things, and work. For daily, I have to-do list, habit tracker, daily affirmations, and meal tracker. For life, I have my dream life, travel and day ideas, bucket list and wish list, and accomplishments. And lastly for work, I have YouTube, my husband's business called Peach Studio, and my personal design projects. Let's begin with my homepage. I duplicated my overall template from Michelle Kanemitsu's free 2022 template. Her video will be listed down below. Once you've selected the template you like, click duplicate located in the right corner of the screen. You'll be directed to your own notion where you can select your dashboard. To customize it to my own liking, I'll be changing my cover and icons. You can find the images for Unsplash or Pinterest. For the icons, I used photo scissors to convert the images I found on Pinterest to PNG. Notion only has three options when it comes to fonts. So what you can do is find a font generator, type your sentence, and copy and paste it into your Notion. You can also change the color of your text or choose a color block like what I'm doing right here. Finally, I'm doing last adjustments such as switching to lowercase and changing the main photos. Here's my home page. My to-do list templates is from Anna Langs on YouTube and I believe she got this template from my Kokoro on Twitter. Her handle is listed under the photo. I like a simple and clean look to my to-do list, so I'll be deleting the initial layout and inserting a simple to-do list. A lot of the times, I have too many things going on in my mind and I get overwhelmed and I freeze. Breaking down tasks into simple steps is really helpful to me. Some days, I have to go to the store and get groceries, and even something this simple makes me freeze. So I break down the steps from getting out of bed, to turning on the podcast, to brushing my teeth, and feeding the cats, and so on and so on. It makes daily tasks feel less intimidating when I have simple steps to follow. Here is my to-do list. My habit tracker is another duplicated template. I like how it has the percentage so that we can see our daily progress as we check off each habit. I write down things I like to do such as clock in 10,000 steps a day, do morning stretches, moisturize, read affirmations, and so on. Again, I change the icons and the covers. And here is my final habit tracker page. My daily affirmations is pretty straightforward. I attach two image and align them to the left. I'm trying to be more present and in tune with myself and be more purposeful of my actions in my daily life. I'm also using this as a manifestation list on how I could create the life of my dreams. I duplicated the habit tracker page and changed the days to dates. I also wrote the name of my meals in the column. I tend to eat food that has little nutrition in them and I'm trying to be more mindful about what I consume daily. Aside from tracking my meals, what I like to include is daily food intake and I'm putting it as a checkbox because I think it's more satisfying to check it off. We 
are on to the next segment of my page, which is life. Starting off with dream life, I'm using Michelle's 2022 goals template. Since 2022 is ending, I'll be focusing on my overall life goal or at least my current goals and dreams. My list consists of health, relationships, finance, life, career, and personal development. For example, for my health, I'd like to settle my PCOS. For relationships, my goal is to check in more often with my family and build better relationships with them. I'd like to save a certain amount of money before a certain year. I want to start my own business. There's an endless amount of things that I can put because I'm essentially manifesting my dream life. Another thing that I like is the letter to myself segment. You paint a picture of what your life looks like now, then you read this at the end of the year to see how far you've come. I think that's a really beautiful concept. My husband and I are always talking about the places we like to see, things we like to do. This way I can keep a record of everything in one place. We'd like to visit Melbourne's marketplace, see the Japan sceneries, eat food in Korea, stay in beautiful villas in Bali. We can check this off when we do have a chance to visit. We also want to try jewelry making, woodworking, mini golf, have picnics, basically compile a list of date activities so we'll never run out of ideas. Here is the finished travel and date ideas page. Have you ever had a bucket list and a wish list? Well, I do. It's just I have it in my head and I forget about it all the time. I'm using the same checklist layout as the last and changing the covers and icons. I would really like to dive with sharks. I have a fascination with sharks even though they are pretty scary and intimidating. I also like to watch dolphins in a boat during sunrise. This is basically where you list down all the things you ever want to do in life. And my wish list is my wish list. A list of things I want or need, like maybe building a cat wall, getting a certain perfume, or purchase a iMac. I am constantly self-sabotaging myself. I'm not doing it on purpose, of course, but I don't think I'm ever good enough to do anything. It's a toxic mindset that I'm trying to get rid of. How I'm gonna combat this is by listing down my accomplishments small ones and big ones one of them being reaching 100,000 subscribers on youtube knowing how to paint being able to crochet a needle felt sometimes i forget what i'm capable of and i need to remind myself to love myself this last page is what i think is the most complicated i'm fully copying and pasting this on my notion I love how customizable this platform is, and when you're familiar enough with this tool, you're able to do so many things. Notion has a community on Reddit, where you can ask questions, look for advice, and gain inspirations from users all around the world. With this template, I can keep track of my upcoming, ongoing, and previous collaborations. I also have a quick idea toggle to essentially bring them video ideas. The idea table is amazing because you can customize the table to what you need. In my case, it's video title, life, date, and status. It all syncs to the calendar, and I have no idea how Michelle did this, and I genuinely want to learn. For Peach Studio and my sewing projects, I duplicate the first template and adjusted the details accordingly. And here it is, my final motion setup. I hope you enjoy seeing the process of setting this up with me. If you find the templates above useful, do check out the YouTubers listed down below. They're really amazing and informational. Thank you again to Notion for sponsoring this video. I hope you all have a lovely day. See you again in my next video. Bye guys.